It won't be tanks, planes, and ships that are the central differentiator in tomorrow's conflict. That conflict's going to be data-centric, and it will be software on every device, in every domain, that will determine the course of it. What I'm going to talk to you about today was actually born out of the ashes of a half-billion-dollar project that failed to deliver any software to the field after 10 years. 10 years. And that's the perfect context to start with because I'm often asked, what is Kessel Run? Is it a program? Is it a project? A prototype? A rebellion? Not quite. Kessel Run started as an idea, and I would say now is the embodiment of this idea that the Department of Defense doesn't have to suck at building software. This is not a rebellion, it's a revolution. One, Flanker One, execute. We have an acquisition model in the DoD that is really modeled after that industrial base of, I'm gonna build some big thing. We take a lot of time up front to try to build a plan and understand exactly what that thing is. And that requirements process can take anywhere from two years to five years. Then you go into the design, the build, the test, and then figure out if you're going to meet the cybersecurity requirements of the environment and finally get to deploy something. Uh, and on average in the DoD, we're between eight and 10 years removed from the initial need. So now the, the th threats have changed. The way that we're fighting for the potential adversaries has changed. And meanwhile, we haven't produced anything to, to meet that need. What we learned was that we actually need to build a software company inside of the Air Force that can sense and respond to conflict in any domain, anytime, anywhere. Kessel Run has opened a software lab in downtown Boston where military members such as myself, we take off our uniforms, we team up with civilians, and we build incredible products. So what we're doing here at Kessel Run is making sure that we have really short feedback loops directly with our users so we can always ensure that we're building the right thing and providing value from day one. We would now have the ability to learn and pivot in the traditional way of doing things. So working in this agile environment with using continuous delivery, we're able to adapt our capabilities to what the warfighter actually needs today and be able to adapt and change with the changes that happen within the battlefield and in the operational space. At a recent event, Dr. Heather Wilson, Secretary of the Air Force, gave a speech about the Air Force we need. She started her speech with the words, doing something for a purpose. And it got me thinking, because at Kessel Run, we say our mission is to continuously deliver valuable software that our airmen love. But the purpose is actually much bigger than that. This is a strategic imperative. Within industry, we've seen a massive shift with the amount of software developers that are needed to uh, live in our, you know, in this modern age. The, the banking industry, as an example, uh, has more software developers than bank tellers. Uh, we need to get to a place where within the DoD and within the Air Force, we are really growing our software development capacity to be able to provide the capabilities that we need going forward. So we are doing that at Kessel Run by partnering with industry, taking really talented, really bright airmen who are really excited to work in a new way from all over the Air Force and uh, giving them the skills they need to succeed while at the same time providing you know, quality products to our warfighters uh, overseas.